Hey everybody, this is Refresh, and I am here to take a look at Arcane Tin Mint's oversized non-glare board game sleeves. These are sleeves for cards that are size 79 by 120 millimeters. These cards are mainly used in Dixit, but can be found in other games like Beastie Bar and Mysterium. These cards are clear, and for an MSRP of $4.99, you get 50 clear card sleeves in 80 micrometer polypropylene with a soft, non-reflective matte treatment. That is an average of about 10 cents per sleeve, which makes these the most expensive of the sleeves of this size. Let's take a look at what we get inside. First, let's count to make sure that there are 50 here. That's 50. As you can see, the sleeves are matte and smooth on both sides. Now let's check the thickness. These sleeves are nine millimeters thick, which means that each sleeve is 180 microns thick or 90 microns each face. So according to my measurements, they're a little thicker than the box advertises. Now let's check the dimensions. These sleeves are 82 millimeters wide by 124 millimeters tall. Now let's see how a card fits. I have a Dixa card here. Let's go ahead and put it inside. The fit is pretty good. There's a little bit of play on the sides and just a little bit of space between the opening of the sleeve and the top edge of the card. Now it's time for the sleeving test. I have these 45 Dixit cards. I'm gonna sleeve them in 45 of these sleeves and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. Okay, it took two minutes and one second to sleeve these 45 cards. And that's a pretty good speed of 2.69 seconds per card sleeved. I generally felt like the sleeving process was quite comfortable. The sleeves didn't resist having cards put into them and they felt quite nice to the touch to open them and to insert cards. Now that we have sleeved these cards, let's check for the uniformity and consistency of the sleeves. Overall, it feels like the sleeves are uniform in terms of their height and their width. So I feel like the uniformity and consistency of the sleeves out of the pack is actually quite high. I didn't see any issues with any of the sleeves as I was putting cards into them. So the sleeves are pretty good and pristine out of the pack. I do notice that because my Dix cards are just slightly curved, the tops of some of the sleeves remain quite open. That also might just be because the sleeves are so huge, it's hard to have the tops of the sleeves close up, but that is something to be aware of if you are concerned about dust or other things entering your sleeves here. But in general, I think these sleeves are pretty high quality and I am impressed with what I see. Now it's time for the shuffling test. I'm gonna shuffle these sleeve Dixit cards 100 times and see how long it takes. Ready, set, go. <laughs> That took three minutes and five seconds to shuffle these sleeved cards 100 times. And that's actually not a bad speed of 1.85 seconds per shuffle. Now these cards, being as large as they are, are just hard to handle in general and holding them and shuffling them is not easy. But I didn't really feel much resistance to the sleeves sliding into each other. And the halves of the deck really hit each other and went in without much struggle. And so I really appreciated that about the card sleeves. Now they do slip a little well, and so that does mean that you have to be careful while you're handling, otherwise you'll drop like cards the way that I did. And so it's important to probably find a different way of holding the cards in, in such that they won't fall out of your hands as you're trying to shuffle them. But in general, for cards of this size, I felt like the shuffling process was actually relatively smooth, or at least as as good as you might hope that it can be. Now that we have shuffled the cards and handled them a bit, let's go ahead and take a look and see if there are any signs of wear. So here we go.
Okay, some of the corners did take a little creasing in the soft sewing process, but they actually straightened out pretty well, but you can still see the creasing in some of the corners like this. And that is probably going to happen with most sleeves, but because these are slightly thinner than the thicker sleeves, I would expect it to happen more with these sleeves. Other than that, I didn't notice any other issues with the sleeves at all. I didn't really see any surface wear or split sleeves or other, any other kind of damage or wear to the sleeves, no denting or anything like that. So I feel like the durability of these sleeves is still quite good. I think the bent corners are going to possibly pose a problem in the future, but I'm pretty happy with the general quality and the durability of these sleeves insofar as they've been able to test them. Next is a shake test. I have these sleeve cards in a deck. I'm gonna shake the table that they're on for about two seconds and see if the deck holds up. Ready, set, go. Okay, the deck slid just a little, but it doesn't look like it's gonna fall down without serious effort. I mean, it's not a surprise. These cards are pretty huge, and so I think it would take quite a tall stack of these cards to fall down. Now I'm gonna do the draw test. I'm gonna draw three cards off the top and see how well the deck holds together. Ready, set, go. Okay, it's another pass. It looks like just the size of the cards, I think will reduce the problem with the deck falling down as you draw cards off the top, but these don't really pose much of a problem. As you can see, as I pick cards off the top, they can slide around a little, but it's not gonna knock any cards off the top as you do so. So that is the pass for the draw test as well. I think that these sleeves, like most of Arcane Tinman's non-glare sleeves, are actually quite a premium product. I do feel like the general quality of the sleeves out of the package after handling, the handling and the sleeving process all are quite impressive and I think that in that sense it does merit the 10 cents per sleeve cost, but it is still a very expensive cost per sleeve and I don't know if it's going to be worth it for many of you to sleeve your cards with these sleeves as a result of the cost. So you do have to think about if you really want to spend that much money per sleeve for these sleeves. And if your game is that precious to you or you really want this non-glare effect because it's the only of these sleeves that you know resist glare, then do consider Arkham Timmons oversized board game sleeves. But otherwise, you may want to look elsewhere if, you know, budget is a concern for you. And so that is what I have for you regarding these oversized board game sleeves from Arcane Tinman. If this video was helpful to you, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. I'll be back with more of these reviews in the future. But until then, this was Refresh. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.